जोग्राफिकल हरियाणा इन रेवाड़ी लाइज इन सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ हरियाणा विच इज एरिड एंड सेमी एरिड रीजन एंड नियर टू द राजस्थान एरिया बिकॉज ऑफ विच वी हैव सैंड्यूज प्रॉब्लम द सो इज नॉट एज वर्ट एज अदर रीजन ऑफ हरियाणा ये सर दीज आर मीन टू फैक्टर्स आई कुड थिंक ऑफ राइट सो बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रोक्सिमिटी विद राजस्थान डज रेवाड़ी फेस फेस एनी सिक्योरिटी इश्यूज सर uh security i would say that the uh, cross the yeah, interstate uh, crime rate the criminals have easy access to rajasthan i think that could be one reason why high crime could be one factor that criminals after doing crime they find it easy to cross borders and find shelter in rajasthan right so <coughs> sorry sorry so aarti you said that you have moved to De- you moved to delhi for your higher education Yes. So, many of the people move to Delhi from Haryana for the higher educations. So, aren't there any good higher education institutions in Haryana? And if no, then why? So, there are a few universities, uh, public universities in Haryana. But when I talk about Rewadi, so number of public universities are very low in Rewadi, and that too are very recent. So, the quality of education is one factor that more and more students are moving to Delhi for higher education. Right. So. Um, when we talk about university, universities, recently you must have uh, heard about the dispute between the governors and the chief ministers of the various states regarding chancellors of university. Yes, right. sir. So, can you tell me that who is the ex officio chancellor of the universities, and why is the governor given the power to appoint these chancellors, vice chancellors? Sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, chancellors of state universities are mainly governors, whereas vice chancellors are appointed by the governance this has been the procedure for as long as in most independence this has been the procedure in india and uh, where states and chief ministers are asking for a change in this procedure so that they could also have a say in the appointment of vice chancellors in the university but governors are being resisting this efforts by cms so should the governor be removed as a chancellor i think more uh, talk has to be done on this topic because uh, this has been the procedure for so long so without any proper discussion and deliberation if the governor is removed then i don't think that would be a good action so can you tell me your opinion about the position or the office of governorship it is uh, politicized a lot so what factor should be considered so that there can be a you know dilution of the problem or the relations can be improved between the governor and the state government but i think uh, there has been cases where the governor has been blamed of intervention in the uh, open there has been said that the governor has been interfering in day to day affairs of the state and is not being limited to the to the power that has been given to him by the constitution so i think that has to be cleared at what are the powers of the governor and in what scope scope he or she could interfere that is one thing apart from that to governor holds the bill of state government and refers them to the president so i think on that front also it has to be ensured that minimum only specific 
uh, bills are passed to the president for his his or her recommendation right aarti uh, being a woman what do you feel are the challenges faced by women specifically in haryana so one is the thing that they are not so very much pushed for a higher education high dropout rate is seen in women when it comes to higher education apart from that early marriages or child marriages and third i would say that on the front of health women in haryana are faring not very good when it comes to health factors like uh, high cases of anemia is one thing and uh, also sex selective abortion is also there in haryana so are you studied zoology yes sir so can you tell me a bit about zoology that what are the areas uh, or areas of interest in zoology that why did you opt for zoology in simple terms zoology is the study of animals and when it comes to animals uh, zoology is is a complete their outer physio outer morphology to the inner physiology for example how the particular systems of a human body or an animal body are performing what is their role in the ecosystem how they are surviving how they are adapting and also how they are evolving in the nature so zoology covers all these aspects so was this your optional as well yes sir this was my optional in upsc well. also yes sir so have you opted for i indian forest services in upsc uh, yes sir i did but i did not clear the prelims cut off no issues so arthi can you tell me the difference between botanical gardens and herbal gardens so mainly botanical gardens are established which contains various kind of plants the diversity of plants is very high in botanical gardens and the purpose for which botanical gardens are established is mainly conservation purposes whereas uh, herbal gardens mainly contain medicinal plants and they are established to popularize various medicine plants what are the uses in daily life right so arthi <clears throat> when we talk about uh, animals and humans so there have been a lot of issues about uh, man animal conflict yes sir so can you tell me that which which states in india face maximum this issues and how they can be improved so one recent going on conflict is in kerala where high human and elephant conflicts have been seen apart from that leopard and man conflicts are also seen in maharashtra in aravalli region of haryana also right yes sir these are two the two current issues that has been surfacing recently Right. So, <clears throat> can you tell me that about the uh, Biodiversity Act of Government of India? So yes, Biodiversity Act was formed in two thousand twenty two two thousand two. It came in two thousand two on the lines of Rio Summit. This act was formulated to ensure that biodiversity in India, especially the hotspot regions, maintain good balance of both animal as well as plant biodiversity. conservation measures are adopted by various states at central government as well as state level to ensure that less and less animals or plants are facing extinction right so uh arthi can you tell me a bit about the uh, about the basic factors that recently you must have seen and earlier also that the tiger senses and such senses are taken place in taking place in india So the yes, government sir. is trying to introduce technology into such senses. Yes. So sir. can you tell me about a bit more the technology that the government is using and is it beneficial? So I think uh, use of technology is highly beneficial because for humans it is not physically possible to reach each and every area to count the animals. So we have to depend on technology. For example, use of satellite data, use of drones, so that. exact number of how much animal population has changed in the previous years could be ensured for example for counting of tigers we use a technology called as m stripes so that is a very real, reliable technology and has been has been in use from very various past years so can you elaborate a bit about m stripes sir i do not know in detail about the technology or what are its constituents but i have heard that it has been in use for counting the number of tigers in various tiger reserves so <clears throat> dna analysis is also done with respect to animals yes sir dna analysis has been used uh, it is mainly for counting the mutation that is taking place over the years and also to identify the uh, parent and child relationship between the animals 
right and also how prone a particular animal is to a particular disease especially genetic disease <coughs> right so uh, you read newspapers every day yes sir so have you heard about the concept of uh, marital rape in india so can can you tell me that what is your opinion about marital rape and should it be criminalized sir uh, the status today of marital rape is that it is not criminalized as per it is an exception to the section of rape in ipc uh, when it comes to personal op- opinion i think marital rape uh, should be criminalized after taking in all the factors recently it has been stated that it cannot be criminalized it should not be criminalized because it may lead to registration of false cases but i think that only that does not make it not eligible to become a crime that it will lead to high number of fake cases i think that could be counter by various other measures administrative measures or legal measures and apart from that to ensure dignity of women and equal treatment to women also both married as well as unmarried if a unmarried women is raped that is a rape but if married women is raped that is not considered as a, as a rape so i think that creates a sort of discrimination be- between a married one and an unmarried one how so will you identify I, how will you identify that whether the case that has been registered by a women is correct or not so i think this is a problem won't it lead to the family issues sir i think that is also a drawback of other cases like domestic violence case and dowry case and we are countering those uh, fake cases as well so on the lines of those acts i think it should be criminalized <clears throat> arti what do you think about the current status of feminism in india do you support it fully or to what extent i think feminism in india is still evolving uh, especially i think many in india especially the male sector i think they are against feminism because they think feminism is not pro women instead it is anti men the current stance is that that mostly mostly people consider feminism and feminism as an anti men process but it is not it is a pro women process which is ensuring equality it do not state that give something more to women i think it is about giving what men are currently having to women also so arthi you said about quality you said what <coughs> sorry what men and women what men have women should also be so do you believe in the concept of absolute equality i think uh, absolute equ- equality is not possible in the times of today because no two person are equal even if taking all other factors as equal like monetary and everything else still they, there would be some differences between two individuals so on these lines i don't think absolute equality is possible it is a utopian idea arthik looking at your background your both your parents are in the government sector already right yes sir so uh, was that one of the reasons why you also wanted to like work in the government sector uh so i think why i wanted to work in government sector has two sides to it one is that obviously my parents are in government services and it is their dream that i become a civil servant or an ias officer per se but apart from that a personal other personal factor is that uh, during my post graduation i feel that i was more suitable or my inclination line more towards the civil services so that is why i opted for this sector and i think by being in government services or civil services you become you can become part of the solution you can actually take those efforts that are required to to ensure that a proper pro, particular problem is solved but are you looking at the current situation you are appearing for rana civil services tomorrow you might get selected but well but then even if you still next year or probably next to next year if you get a chance to join the upsc services or the union services then I, i i probably that would be your take right you would want to switch to upsc don't you think at, in that process you will end up wasting a very precious seat for a candidate who maybe deserves this more than upsc sir i'm i'm not able to hear your question properly can you repeat it the, the question is very simple arthi so the point that i'm trying to make is that since currently you are preparing for hcs right it might so happen that you get through hcs and you join the services but tomorrow it might so happen that you crack upsc as well in that case don't you think that during this process you will end up wasting a very precious seat of a person who deserves this more than you i think both the process of hcs as well as upsc are very unpredictable so even if there's a slight guarantee that i will be selected in any one of them or both of them 
still i have to sit for both the exams till the last process unless and until i get even one job in my hand so it is the unpredictability of the process that that is making me sit for both the exams and even if it might lead to getting a seat gets wasted i think that would be added a added next vacancy so that is not a waste sir fine arti uh, arvidan arti yes sir so you do you know about the concept of social registry the concept of social registry social registry social 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 registry social. am i ha uh ha -huh. social no, registry no no sir. right so <clears throat> i think one of your parent is in gst yes sir mother or father my mother mother she is a gst inspector yes sir so what is the role of a gst inspector sir first rule is is i think uh, verifying that a particular business that has established for gst has done so on legal terms like proper registration physical verification of the premises aadhar aadhar authentication are all these steps that are being taken into consideration while registering a particular business under gst and after that uh, proper returns are being filed by the particular business is also ensured that there is no discrepancy between where is returns <coughs> or the input credit that is being availed by the particular businessman is on the right terms or not so arti you said that uh, while you were doing your evaluation you thought that your inclination is towards civil services yes sir so what were the aptitudes and what were the attributes that you saw in yourself and you thought that yes i am the right person for civil services so one thing that i mentioned before that i want i see myself as a part of the solution that if i become part of the civil services i could become a part of the solution and not a part of the problem which is the biggest can... problem that you think that uh, people in haryana face and what solution do you have for that sir administratively speaking or in general i would say uh, two fields in which i would like to work upon is ensuring the women empowerment field and second i think is in the environment field i want to, i want to work upon in haryana the impact of agriculture the impact of waste right cycle we try cycle is there the depletion of ground water and haryana has one of the lowest forest cover area in india it is around 4% and whereas under forest act it should be 33% so personally i think i would like to work upon these two fronts one is environment front and other is women front right so you have mentioned your hobby as gardening and movies uh, yes mainly gardening yes mainly gardening kahan pe karte ho gardening yes sir kahan pe karte ho gardening so uh, as i live in an urban area so i do not have very much open spaces or as a garden properly so i mainly i am focused on terrace gardening terrace gardening so kaise hoti hai terrace gardening what are the basic factors in terrace gardening that you take into consideration so one of the main thing is that we do not have a uh, land proper so we are sowing in everything we are sowing it is in pots so creating the proper <laughs> pot mixture or creating the proper soil mixture is very essential because if you kaise create karte ho can you tell me the macronutrients and micronutrients that you add into that and you feel yeah this will be good for the plants uh, so for example i am sowing a i am growing a plant called a succulent so that is a water resistant plant so it requires very less water however the soil must be sandy so that it do not retain water to ensure that i i ensure that 60% of the soil mixture is sand apart from that there is compost that i add for macro and micronutrients and very less i use chemical fertilizers like dap especially for flowering plants so okay. these are the nutrients that i use theek hai arti you are done i think okay sir arti pehle to aap khud bataiye matlab how did you see the interview went what are, what are your takeaways from this discussion uh sir i think even after giving a few mocks i still fumble fumble on many points so that is one drawback i see in myself apart from that i think it went okay went well right see i think uh, basics are sorted communication wonderful clarity of thought easily <laughs> confidence visible only one factor that i uh, could point out is apne ek do jagah pe could be bahut use kiya hai bar bar matlab ke it could be one of the factors it could be to usme ek thoda sa guess work ka element dikh jata hai could be wale phrase ke andar to is phrase ko aap change kariye could be wala factor ek open ended factor mat dijiye so be very specific because all of your points have been very uh, you know specifically designed 
पर आपने जब पहला पॉइंट आपसे पूछा गया था रेवाड़ी के बैकग्राउंड के बारे में रेवाड़ी के बैकवर्ड रेवाड़ी के प्रॉब्लम्स के बारे में तो आपने बोला कि तीन प्रॉब्लम्स हैं सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स हैं जोग्राफिकल प्रॉब्लम्स हैं एंड देन आपने थर्ड पॉइंट बोला ही नहीं yes, तो आपका वहां पर थोड़ा सा फ्रेमिंग में इशू आ गया बट चलो ऐसे थोड़ा सा आप ज्यादा प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो ये प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएंगे आपको ठीक है वो आपके चेहरे पे ऐसी ना वो नर्वसनेस आई की पता लग गया की यार अब गड़बड़ होगी तो वो ध्यान रखना दूसरा आपके आंसर ना कई बड़े शॉर्ट थे आप पे ढूंढना पड़ा था आगे हम वेट कर रहे थे थे कि आंसर तो पूरा नहीं हुआ तो वो इनकम्प्लीटनेस आपके आंसर में रिफ्लेक्ट हो रही थी तीसरा चांसलर गवर्नर वाला इशू जो था वो आप कम्प्लीटली मिसप्लेस करके इधर उधर कर गया मेरा बहुत बहुत पहले चल रहा है सर ठीक है इसको पढ़ो बहुत बड़ा इशू बना हुआ है गवर्नर की पोस्ट का सीएम के साथ चांसलर रिसेंटली जो इशूज हुए केरल में हुआ है वेस्ट बंगाल में हुआ है तमिलनाडु में चला अलग इशू चलता है पर वो भी गवर्नर सीएम का झगड़ा है तो इसको अच्छी तरह पढ़ो कि गवर्नर सीएम क्या होता है किस तरह से इनका झगड़ा चल रहा है क्यों चल रहा है कब से चांसलरशिप वाला होता है कौन चांसलर होता है कैसी इनकी बेसिकल हिस्ट्री और कैसे होना चाहिए बहुत सारे आर्टिकल्स आपको न्यूज में मिल जाएंगे इसके बारे पढ़ो ठीक है तीसरा मैंने आपसे एक सवाल पूछा था उसके बारे क्या कहते हैं उसे मैन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट के बारे तो मैंने मैन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बता दिया मैंने पूछा था मैंने स्पेसिफिकली तो पूछा था कि कैसे इसको रिड्यूस किया जा सकता है वो क्वेश्चन हम कंप्लीटली मिस कर गए सर वो मतलब मैंने सुना नहीं रिड्यूस करने का मुझे लगा आपने बस ये पूछा कि कहां चल रहा है तो मैंने जगह का नाम और मेरा अगला पॉइंट वही है कि काफी सारे क्वेश्चंस में ना आप क्या है कि जैसे क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट भी होता है जवाब देने लग जाते हो ठीक है तो पहले जो इंटरव्यू होता है ना उसको आंसर क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट करने को जब वो कंप्लीट कर लेता है ना क्वेश्चन तो उसके बाद आप पांच सेकंड का वेट करो ठीक है क्योंकि अब होता है ऐसा है कि आपको आंसर आता होता है अगर बाई चांस आपका आंसर आता है तो यू नीड नॉट जंप इनटू दैट यस सर ठीक है वो आंसर वो क्वेश्चन पूछ के कंप्लीट करके आपकी तरफ देखेंगे देन यू स्टार्ट गिविंग द आंसर ठीक है तो फिर कई बार क्या होता है कि ओवरलैपिंग हो जाएगा और आपका वो क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट नहीं होगा दैट विल गो नेगेटिव क्या तो सीनियर की बात नहीं सुन रही ठीक है तो इस चीज में थोड़ा सा कि अपने आप को रिलैक्स करके आंसर पूरा हो गया अपनी बॉडी लैंग्वेज को रिलैक्स करके क्वेश्चन पूरा हो गया फिर आंसर देना स्टार्ट करो ठीक है इसके अलावा जो मैंने आपको बायोडाइवर्सिटी एक्ट का पूछा था तो आप थोड़े से फीचर्स आपने कम बताए फीचर्स आपको बताओ क्योंकि आपको जोलॉजी ऑप्शन है ये सारी चीजें आपको पता होनी चाहिए कम्प्लीटली ठीक है फिर मेरिटल रेप वाला आंसर था वो आंसर कंप्लीट नहीं था वो आंसर करेक्ट भी नहीं था प्रॉपरली आपने उसमें आपने ना लास्ट में उसको ऐसे छोड़ दिया कि सर मेरे हिसाब से तो उसको डी क्रिमिनलाइज कर देना चाहिए पर उसमें बड़े सारे फैक्टर्स हैं कि इट इज अ रेप वो आपका ना बहुत जेनरिक आंसर लग रहा था एज एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आंसर नहीं था तो मैं अगर हिसाब लगाऊ ना जो पॉलिटी वाला पोर्शन है ना ये करंट वाला उसमें थोड़ी सी वीक हो ठीक है सर है ना तो इसके ऊपर थोड़ा सा फोकस कर लो तीसरा आपका सवाल जो था ना अब दूसरा जो मैं आपको बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बता रहा हूँ यूपीएससी की इंटरव्यू देने जा रहे हो आप एचसी की इंटरव्यू देने जा रहे हो आपके बहुत सारे आंसर्स में से ये रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा था कि आपका बहुत भयंकर झुकाव है यूपीएससी की तरफ जो होना भी चाहिए ठीक है वो होना भी चाहिए होता भी सबका होता है पर आप ये मैं बोला आप एचसी की इंटरव्यू दे रहे हो आप ये नहीं सोच सकते आप ये नहीं बोल सकते कि जैसे आपने ना स्पेसिफिकली मैंने लिखा हुआ है यही पॉइंट लिखा मैंने कि आपने ना बोला कि सर ने आपसे सवाल पूछा तो आपने बोला कि सर आई आई थॉट कि आई शुड बी गेटिंग सेलेक्टेड इनटू सर्विसेज माय पेरेंट्स हैड ड्रीम दैट आई शुड बी सेलेक्टेड इनटू सर्विस आईएएस पर से नहीं वही पकड़ेगा वही पकड़ेगा आपके मतलब आपको तो इंटरेस्ट नहीं एचसीएस में तो आपके लिए ऐसे मजबूरी का काम है कि चल ठीक है जी मैं निकलने तो जी वहां जा तो मैं केरला रही थी जरूर सच रास्ते में घुमा कि मध्य प्रदेश में घूम जाऊं है ना वो नहीं होना चाहिए आप बोलो कि ठीक है सर मेरा सर्विसेज की तरफ में झुकाव है किसी भी प्रकार के सर्विस यूपीएससी हो चाहे सिविल एच सी एस हो आई रेडी फॉर एनी थिंग आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू बी रूल मेकर सोशल मेरी सोल्यूशन सेंट्रिक अप्रोच है जैसे आपने कहा ठीक है तो इसमें इसमें भी देख लेना की सोल्यूशन सेंट्रिक अप्रोच क्या होता है क्या प्रॉब्लम है मेजरली इन हरियाणा में जिसका आप सोल्यूशन निकाल सकते हो और क्या सोल्यूशन हो सकता है ठीक है प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफाई कर लेना तीन चार क्योंकि आपने ना अपने आंसर में दो तीन बार बोला सॉल्यूशन सेंट्रिक अप्रोच यस तो वो उनको नोट कर लेना कि सॉल्यूशन सेंट्रिक अप्रोच में प्रॉब्लम्स मेनली आइडेंटिफाई कर लो और उनका सॉल्यूशन बना लो लिख लो अपने पास पढ़ लो उसको कि अगर पेपर में से इंटरव्यू सॉल्व मैंने ये आंसर बोल रहा ठीक है वो आपके दिमाग में फ्रेम रहेगा ठीक है मुझे and I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be uh, passionate about feminism, but जब आप feminism के बारे में बोलेंगे ना 
तो आपने इंश्योर करना है कि आपने सारे फैक्टर्स जैसे आपका ही जो आंसर था मैं उसको रिफ्रेम कर रहा हूँ वो एक थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री अप्रोच रखनी है अपने हर आंसर के ऊपर चाहे आप बहुत एक स्ट्रॉन्ग फॉलोअर है किसी भी चीज के बट जब आप एक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर के लिए इंटरव्यू दे रहे हैं तो आपको उसकी भी कुछ कुछ नेगेटिव पॉइंट जो है एक्सट्रीम फेमरिज्म के जो फंडे निकल कर आ रहे हैं आजकल बहुत सारी बातें हो रही है उनके बारे में आपने अपने पॉइंट में एक आधा पॉइंट वहां से भी इंक्लूड करना ही करना है सो so दैट आप अनबायस्ड शो हो राइट right? आपकी तरफ से बायस में ढूंढने की कोशिश कर रहा था और मुझे वो फेमिनिज्म वाले पॉइंट में हल्का सा फैक्टर लगा और फिर मैं आपको बोलूंगा कि फैमिलीज्म वाद के थोड़ा सा पढ़ो आपका फैमिलीज वाला आंसर बड़ा हाँ, जनरिक भी थोड़ा सा उसमें भी बहुत जनरिक आंसर था आपका वो भी तो मैं आप मैंने जितने भी आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछे इकोनॉमिक्स वाला पार्ट भी आपका ठीक था मैं मेजरली आपके पॉलिटिक्स पॉलिटी और पॉलिटिकल थ्री वाले पार्ट में आइडेंटिफाई कर सकता हूँ कि थोड़ा बहुत ज्यादा क्या जनरिक आइडियाज है ठीक है तो उसको मैं थोड़ा सा फोकस कर लूँ क्योंकि वो आइडिया मैंने पकड़ भी लिया मेरा वही बैकग्राउंड है ठीक है तो मेरे को पकड़े भी जल्दी की हाँ यार जनरिक आइडिया है ठीक है और थोड़ी सी मॉक्स और दो यूपीएससी के लिए भी ठीक है आप सर से कांटेक्ट करें ना ग्रुप में हो आप अच्छे से इंटरव्यूज वाले ग्रुप में हैं जो हमारे ना सर का नंबर होगा आप नोट कर लो आप यूपीएससी के मॉक के लिए कांटेक्ट करना हमारे लिए यूपीएससी के जो मॉक है अभिषेक सर आप सर ले रहे हैं रैंक एट है वो ऑल इंडिया टू थाउजेंड बैच के सिटिंग आई ऑफिसर है मध्य प्रदेश में पोस्टेड है वो तो वो वॉलंटियर सर्विस प्रोवाइड करते हैं इंटरव्यूज के लिए तो आपका वो थर्टी थर्टी फाइव मिनट्स का एक मॉक लेज में आपका डैफ एनालिसिस करके आपकी पर्सनालिटी एनालिसिस करके वो हेल्प करेंगे आपकी तो उसकी आपको बड़ी आवश्यकता है ठीक है क्योंकि आपके आंसर्स में आपके बॉडी लैंग्वेज में काम एंड कंपोज है पर जब कहीं भी आपका आंसर जरूर जाता है ना तो थोड़ा नर्वस हो जाते हो ठीक है तो सर ने दो बार यूपीएससी क्रैक किया वो तो सर बैठ आपको उस चीज में बहुत हेल्प करेंगे ठीक है तो वो आप सर से दीक्षांत सर से कॉन्टेक्ट कर लेना नंबर एडमिन में नंबर होगा तो सर आपकी इंटरव्यू उनके साथ फिक्स करवा देंगे अभिषेक सर आप सबके साथ बाकी आरसीसी द बेस्ट पॉइंट इज दैट जो भी इश्यूज हमने हाँ. आपको बताए हैं वो सारे आप उनके ऊपर काम कर सकते हैं और आप सबसे बड़ी बात यह कि आप क्लूलेस नहीं थे किसी आंसर को लेकर यू आर नॉट क्लूलेस सेकेंड यू आर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट इन दिंग्स यू न्यू एंड यूर बॉडी लैंग्वेज इज वेरी काम सो दैट गोज अलॉट इन यूर फेम यू ऑलवेज है बेस्ट पार्ट ठीक है आरती थैंक यू वेरी मच ये yes, सर यही कि जिन क्वेश्चंस में क्लूलेस हूँ तो उसमें ये कह देना ठीक होगा कि सॉरी सर आई हैव नो आइडिया जैसे कि गवर्नर वाइस चांसलर वाले क्वेश्चन में मुझे पता है पर ये इसलिए मुझे पता था कि थोड़ा चल रहा है टॉपिक न्यूज है तो मुझे कुछ तो बोलना ही चाहिए इसके बारे में वही पता है पर मुझे जब क्वेश्चन मैंने सुना तो मुझे पता चल गया था की मेरे पास गुड पॉइंट नहीं है इसके ऊपर से कहने के ऐसे क्वेश्चन पढ़ लो पढ़ लो इसको आंसर फ्रेम कर लो राइट आरती ठीक है सर थैंक यू आरती ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर एच एंड फॉर यूपीएससी एस वेल ठीक है सर थैंक यू